question 19 um, you want to find what's the minimum mass needed to uh, keep the system in equilibrium okay so to keep this system in equilibrium right, first you actually need to look at um, what's happening at the pulley so you have uh, two pieces of string right, pulling in opposite direction uh, with respect to the pulley so this is like this way so we call this tension one and we have tension 2 acting this way okay and you know the ratio of the uh, radius right so from here you know that t1 times radius r must be equals to t2 times radius 3r because one will produce a clockwise moment one will produce the anti-clockwise moment they must be equal so that the pulley don't turn then now Go back to the individual free body diagram to see what's going on. Here you have the weight, this 1500 g. Component of the weight now that is down to slope is of 1500 g times sine of 30 degree. Oh, that's the angle of the slope. And T1 acts on this load. Okay, so this T1. And this one is equal to this. The second body, right, uh, this unknown small mg, um, is equal to the tension T2. Okay, so you substitute into this equation to solve. So you have 1500g sine of 30 equals to uh, 3 times of mg. Oh, the r and r cancels out. G cancels out. Um, 1,005 sine 30, which is half, gives you 750. You have a 3, and is 250 kg.